record of the com conversation so we can go back to it because we may when we write our case study it'll be useful just to draw on some of these sorts of mm. things that we're talking about and just say this was the discussion to start with that'd be really helpful it's just just for the use of the uh, the case study it's not a video we would use in anything else um brilliant sorry lucy so yeah so we can so, either so, do a double session like or maybe it'd be better if we just did if we moved installation and set up to the 19th and then if we did an extra session the week after mm. and we did three we did two sessions before in in the same the same week as the audience test because that if we like if we could do one on the 26th yeah then that gives us a bit of a run in to getting our audience member in doesn't it it will be quite close to that moment so we do a do a you want to do a kind of setup setup on the nineteenth. Yeah. Okay, and and the the twentieth would be a test, or do you think, or we could for do a test a test by that stage? Yeah. Okay. And we've got Graham on the twentieth, haven't we, Giles? Were you muted? Yes. There we go. Trying to find the yes. Sorry, I was on a different tab, but trying to find it. Yes. Yes, we have got Graham on the twentieth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we may well be able to get him for some of the nine for the nineteenth as well, but we can definitely. Yeah, I can certainly ask him. We can. We'll so, definitely have him on the twentieth to start putting together what the test no, show is. Yeah. Yeah. I won't be around on the nineteenth. That's fine. Okay. But would you would you be able to do you think you're going to try and paint the space in the school before the 19th? Is that, yes, is that so we'll idea? paint the school tomorrow. OK, fantastic. Like that. Paint the school tomorrow. I know it does sound like. <laughs> what we'll do, I mean, just about that, just a very quick one about, about the painting of that space. You work. I mean, it depends on the on the room, because I, in that diagram I sent you, let me just send that. Let me just share that with you once again very quickly. I won't be a moment. Um, let me share that screen again with you. Um, yeah, in that diagram I sent you there, um, you can, you know, I kind of indicated that you'd paint, have to paint the sides of the space as well. So it's actually the source of the on the on the elevation that there'd be sides painted and the background painted. But if it, if the wall is longer than two meters forty, if you got like if it's something like three or four meters, you might find you don't have to actually paint. Yeah, there's no yeah, side it's quite a paint. wide room. It's wider than, yeah, I'd say it's probably five metres wide, I would imagine, at least. Yeah, yeah, so we could make a square, a square, a rectangle. Yeah, you'd probably just need a green background and a green floor, and you'll probably find that the rest is is, is OK, you know, it should be yeah. all right. Um, so, so that's fine. But for the shed, when you do the shed eventually, obviously, your kind of minimum width will be, that'll be the minimum kind of dimensions. Well, probably a little bit of space behind it, so it might be a bit, a bit bigger than three meters uh, depth. But I, perhaps your shed is probably bigger than that. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we can come to it out recently, that. didn't we? What was the dimensions, Stu? I feel like it's. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's useful just to know that's the kind of plan of, of this, the space that maybe when you know we might have to think about the shed and have a little look just to check what your dimensions of your shed will, will be um, and whether that's the same similar sort of size. Uh, OK, sorry, I'm jumping about and I will go back to this schedule here. Um, so that was the um, 20th would be a test with with Graham. And then you're thinking maybe the 26th and 20, 27th, you would want to do something. I mean, we've got the 20. There's a kind of um, there's almost three, two sessions on the 27th and 28th is what we'll be looking at. So we'd look, it's quite, it's all very, it's all happen, this residency is happening very quickly. Are you happy to, do you, do you need to do it all in May or, or is there a, um, are you, are you, have you got other things you're doing in June or do you want, do you, do you want to keep it to May? Um, we, we can do it in June. We have to, we will still have the same group of people available. Um, I suppose what might be quite good to do would be, in a way, it's quite nice if we do it in that week in May because we probably haven't got much else on. So we can probably all okay. just go, yeah, we're just working on this for a week. Okay. Go, 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 play. But I suppose if it's all right from your end, if we got through the 26th and we went, oh, we, we feel we'd rather take a, you know, 
we want to all go away and think about stuff for a day or we need to order a different piece of you know something or make something that's going to take a day yeah, we can yeah. always just push it back into into june by a, a is that possible? Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So do, I think do, we'll be fine just to motor through on these dates. But I've, um, yeah, I've yeah. technically got Graham on holiday on the twenty sixth, but that's only kind of been offered, Lucy, not confirmed. So I could just go back to him and say, "Can you not be on holiday on the twenty sixth? Yeah, and we could probably give him another time, couldn't we? Instead, yeah, almost um, certainly. I mean, we've got the 27th and 28th. It was initially going to be 6, 6 p.m. Is that still yeah. the sort of time you'd like to go? Is it in evening time or you would rather go daytime or? No, I think kind of... I think evening times. That's good. OK, it's good. And what about the 26th then? With, if Graham is is available or not or, or or do you what sort of time would that be? Do you think um, we could do that one during the day would be better. I've got something okay. on the evening, but that's fine with me. Um, Just going to need to check on those times whether. Sure. Um, just wondering whether drama clubs are running in the same space at those times. <laughs> um, which doesn't mean it couldn't move for a week, but. Although it probably won't want to move it once it's got a beautiful painted wall. <laughs> and you have you have some green screen fabric for the floor as well for that for the school space yeah i think uh, yeah we've got a kind of tiled foam floor i don't know sorry i don't know if i'm okay. still on mute or not yeah, yeah. no you've got, I've got your job yeah. <laughs> just trying to look at have you and is that i, I mean i just just trying to me that's that's a tiled is it a green screen flooring is it is, is yeah, it, yeah it's, it's like a green screen you know the kind of it sounds weird but like the kids kind of play floor i know what you mean home yeah. that key together we have one of those of green I screen it worked that. really successfully on our christmas show great okay so we can we, we can use that then that'd be good mm -hmm. um and perhaps there's enough there have you, have you, have you, have you, would you have enough that that for both locations yeah we've um we've already got <laughs> we've already got half of it here with us waiting for the shed so it okay, should brilliant. it should be enough in both places yeah, yeah well hopefully if it's a standard green they're, they're using in all these things it shouldn't be a problem they should they should they should <laughs> they should match we hope yeah, hopefully. hopefully fingers crossed well that's great i mean i did once so i did an installation a couple of years ago in spain and they and they they, they, they made a green screen floor for me by turning over a very cheap carpet and just pa painting the back of it which was, which was a kind of rubber huh. Uh, sort of Clever. backing and, and it worked extremely well actually it was very good it held out and it had a whole gallery audience walking around on it for days so it seemed to hold up so um sounds just better than our flooring i was, <laughs> I was <laughs> getting uh scrapes and dirts after just a couple of hours of session had to keep cleaning it off <laughs> yeah well this stuff held out I, I i can send you some pictures of what they did um of it but it was really good they really just, just rolled it out very good. So, so, how are you doing with your time? Yeah, that all looks fine. So, so Friday when we Friday the twenty eighth when we're doing the actual test is fine because there's no drama club on Fridays, so we'll be fine on that one. And so then six pm, yeah, six, yeah, six pm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the... so we'll probably we'll say we'll probably arrange our audience member to come in at seven. Yeah. Um. So we've got an hour of. Um, set up and practicing with whatever we're doing. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, audience yeah. in at seven. Um, then twenty seventh, twenty sixth, twenty seventh. There will be drama club sessions running, but I don't know that that will necessarily be a a problem because they might be able to go into a different room, or it might actually be that we can just have both things going on in the room at once. And um, it's quite a big room. <laughs> they can be at okay. one end, we can be at the other, and it's probably fine. Oh, okay. Um, six six. So it'll be six p.m. on the twenty seventh, would it? Oh, or well, we could do that one unless we do. Oh no, because twenty six, we're going earlier, aren't we? We're going to go. We said ten, I think. But... Yeah. So if we go ten on the twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. So it would only be unless we move the twenty seventh earlier as well. Drama clubs start at about four, so any time before four, then the space is definitely free. I'm good on the twenty seventh to go any time. Can I just check? Are these just two hour sessions we're talking about on the twenty sixth, twenty seventh? Yeah. 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 So should we do? Well, should we do ten a.m. both days then? 
so it's for consistency i don't know why that would make a difference but maybe it's easier to remember <laughs> only thing only thing just to be aware of if there are if there are any windows that are spilling any light in lighting yeah. will change between 10 a.m and 6 6 p.m it's going to change a lot so isn't it let's, go, let's find... keep let's keep 6 p.m on the 27th then okay might be a good idea just to make sure we're we're yeah I've done things where all of a sudden you set something up and it's perfect, and all of a sudden you didn't realize there's the east facing window, and you turn up in the evening and it's just like hell, <laughs> it all goes wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's fairly uncontrollable anyway because the light's going to change from 6 pm to 7 pm because it's yeah, yeah. summertime. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to lose. But it might be a good challenge yeah. for us to actually look at how we can black out those windows. Yeah. That may be the thing to do. That's that's probably the best the, the, the thing to try and do. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's direct sunlight is the is the issue most of the time. Okay, we're good. But 10, 10 a.m. on the twenty sixth, six p.m. on the twenty seventh, and six p.m. on the twenty eighth. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. And then so and then we're going to go with um, the twentieth is at ten a.m. Isn't it? We're yeah. doing that little test on the twentieth as well. Okay. And do you think with the setup on the nineteenth, it do, are we are we, we going to try and do a kind of um, when, when, it, when it's set up, it, is there some technical testing as well we can do? I can do a kind of connection to you or that sort of thing, or is that good? good way yeah, to go? on the 19th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Do I need Graham on the 19th, Lucy? I think only if only if he's free. I think technically he would have to... Oh, well, I'll, I'll ask him. That would be 10 a.m. again, would it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So what, what I, I would mean, do I mean, he could is... join at 11 or something if he wanted to come. Yeah, I mean, I can. Um, what I was going to do. That's 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 great. Okay, that's 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 all. That all sounds perfectly fine. We've got it's a it's a really intensive period, and it'd be really good to try and try and get you know see what we can resolve out of it. And as you say, come the twenty seventh, if we feel we need another extra day, maybe we can then dip it into June if if need, if required. But that'd be really really good. Um, what I would. It's going to suggest is I, mean, I, I was going to do this as I, was, I can control it from from my end um and i can do it all prob probably best to go with with vmix at the moment that seems to the way the way we, we would also do it that way um if you're happy for me to me to control that all, all up from my end i can prepare some of the um well i can prepare some sets or if you wish to tr try some as well but i had got that um suggestion of of this um of this uh model of suzanne's um uh card players as a kind of little just a thought i could play with that yeah i love that other, other things um and we could try and i could try and um you know work with this image and take this image back in, into this format and try and slip it into this kind of alignment take out the characters um and, and I would probably bring you in, you know, I'd send you the kind of call in details, and that sort of stuff. So you can share that with Graham. Uh, and um, who would the other participant be then, then Lucy? Would that would be Giles or was yourself or somebody else? Or how would that be? What would the... I think it will probably be Giles, but it might okay, be depending definitely. on our, our scheduling of the rest of the rep company that we might end up with someone else that we chuck into Absolutely the mix fine. at some point. Or that people just join and we kind of play with what people want to okay. try out. The way I've been doing it is I've been, I've been giving people kind of part kind of password kind of uh, connections so they just open it up on their Google Chrome and they just put the you know the, the the website and password in and then they just brought straight into the mix and I can then just keep just just composite them into the into the scene um, and I probably you know and that would allow them to um, yeah so so like I say I can if I, I can set that all up at my end um and i can work with some of these some of these these kind of i could even bring in a, you know as i say i could even drop in a, a kind of a suzanne character into it if we wanted um and that sort of thing and and initially i did sort of say things about it, it would be possible as well to maybe bring in an, an, an audience participant um to put them at the head of the table perhaps and do things like that so they actually bring in a member of the audience i did mention to you about this i <laughs> just out of interest um really interesting I, this this um 
party tablecloth. That's a green party tablecloth I bought on Amazon. It's like like two pounds. <laughs> We've so used cheap. them in some of our shows. So our right, early right. Zoom shows in the first yeah. lockdown, um, we just sent these to the car. And some of them are still. So in Romeo and Juliet, um, Vera, who played Lady Capulet, just had one of those tablecloths up. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really, they they work really well. I've sort of got one. I kind of got one here, and I just just yeah, these these kind of things. They just sort of the green is really good. I couldn't believe it. it works really well. Yeah. So yeah. So I think that would be the thing to do for for our audience member. I need to work out who the audience member I'm going to invite is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Presumably, what would be quite nice would be if we found a test audience member, and obviously we're going to say to them, this is just a test and we're just sort of playing and testing a principle. It'd be nice if I could find someone who maybe had like family who wanted to dial in and watch it as well, and then we could stream it into Zoom and they could be in the vMix call on the in exactly. the scene and the family could be watching them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be good. Okay, I'll have I'll have a think on who the audience are. Okay. That'd be great. Uh, I mean, is that is that okay for me to be doing it my my end with, with how about with you, Giles? I know you'd be obviously you're 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 very experienced with with VMix and all these things. I don't I don't I, I'm more than happy to to. Um, it depends, you know. I mean, I can I can do this, but it might give you a bit of freedom to do other things, and and you know, so we can share the stuff and and and. I mean, what, what I'm easiest, Um, I'm currently sans car. That doesn't stop me getting to Bista. It just takes a bit longer. Um, so right. I need to fill that into a schedule, but happy to work. I mean, I, it is easy for me to get there. It just takes about an hour. So it's, right. um, not that that's a problem in any way. Um, so, yes, I mean, just whichever is kind of most productive for the project. Um, okay. I, you know what we could do, Giles, because there's a few days there in a row. I could just give you my car for a – we could meet there on the first day because Stu and I don't need two cars at the moment, so we could just put you on the insurance for a week. Stu looks delighted about <laughs> Well, we're talking about getting rid of the second car, so it would be a good test of – last what? time I didn't have a car, I nearly had a breakdown, but now now I'm like, I don't need a car, I'm saving the world. So oh, <laughs> Treat it very carefully. Do yeah, you so we... mind, Lucy, that I am back in and out of the office as of the 17th, so I won't be around as much as I currently am. Yeah, I'll just borrow a car from Adam. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> anyway, we don't need to do this here, but we'll work. We could we could work yeah. out. Giles, I okay. imagine you would actually you would love to not be doing VMix and to be in a room acting and playing and performing and dealing I mean... with paint and wires and cabling and not that would be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do. Uh, I'm happy to take. I'm, 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 I'm happy to do that. And it, it'd be. Um, I mean, this, this is really a very, a very. I think one of the things about this, this what we want to try and do, and I think it's really, it's about the sense of um, using remote screens as a, as a point of of um, of focus for the for the performer. And I, I really one of the things I noticed in the, in the performance last night, which I which I loved. But I, I felt that the, 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 la the language was through was 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 directly in front through the screen. So it, so, for example, the kiss, which was beautifully done, but the kiss was 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 met through a language that is 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 the screen. It's sort of the confronting the screen, as opposed to kind of um, a kiss that was met as a kind of staged as a kind of as a kind of third space. It was yeah. almost it was almost it was it really it, both of them work in different ways and have different kinds of dramaturgy but there's a different language to it and it's that language of the of the of the present of the telepresent that we're we're wanting to really explore and so yeah. the notion of of observing self as us as other <laughs> yeah is, is yeah. something we really like like to like to explore with you Does yeah that make no sense? i'm really interested in exploring that because i um, the direction Romeo and Juliet's gone in, and we did Malfi the same. Um, that that Tasha is particularly interested in is this kind of she calls it like peep show, like they're always looking at the camera, and I and I love it as a style, but I feel in a way it is slightly kind of going okay. We're not going to deal with sight lines and lining people up and making people talk to each other sideways. And I absolutely agree with you. I, I it, it does lose that. Um, well, it doesn't lose it. it. It it's a different genre. It's a different thing. That's another sense. But I'm still interested in the what does it look like when you're watching someone talk to someone, and the body language and the storytelling that you're getting from the side or from a different angle. And really, you want um, the 45 degree angle, not the 90. So you want them looking past the camera at 45 degrees. So you've got the side profile, 
and then you've got somebody else looking because if you've got side full on side it looks odd so if you watch most tv you're at a 45 you're never at a 90. Yeah, yeah, so playing playing with all of these things would be great. I just had a thought, Giles. Are we going? Are we being mad to get you to go to Bista at all? Is it that you do the Graham end oh. of having a setup at home, and Graham comes to Bista? Um, I looking at those dimensions, I would find those dimensions tricky. Ah. Um, would I find those dimensions tricky? Just wondering if I could repurpose my living room. No, it it, it does not. take a bit of bit of rearrangement of furniture. <laughs> I've, I've been there. I know what it's like. So just um, do. I don't know. Um, let me just grab a tape measure. <laughs> let me grab a tape measure. Okay. Okay. Does he want to do that to his living room? Is Vicky well, I think maybe he's going to measure his. I don't know. <laughs> It's, but um, we'll work it out, Paul. We've got okay, okay. And no, I appreciate and it. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, have a we'll just work it. out the most sensible logistics and space plan. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think the say, is it three point two meters deep? You want? It is, Charles. Let me just let me just get the. Uh, I'll tell you, what, I'll share the picture with you again, and you can have a quick look at it. Um, there we are. So it's about from camera to. From the depth from the back wall to camera is three meters, um, and the width. But bear in mind that 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 involves putting up some green screen, or sort of putting it up around the sides of the space as well, which is also a bit, can be a bit tricky. And, but, and then the screens, of course, we wanted to have the screens positioned quite. Um, Oh yes. Hi. Yeah, I think I would struggle with the width rather than the depth. Yeah. Actually, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm happy to come to Bista. We'll work it out. It's a day out. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're all going to be excited about. We all. Everyone's going to be really jealous of anyone who's not working on this project because they're going to be like, "You're all in a room doing a fun thing." <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't sharing screens then, but never mind. I, I think, of, oh, yeah. Now that was the picture. Of the, um, yeah, good. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, I've forgotten. Oh yeah. I mean, some of the kits. Let me just show you quickly. Um, some of the kit we've got, you will get. What we're sending to you, we're sending you these, um, the Logitech webcams. We're sending it extension, sort of USB extensions, which make it easier to mount the camera. Um, but this, the tables is the important thing as well. So you're going to get these tables, that are these square tables. I, I think they're card, I think they're actually card playing tables. I think they're described as. Um, you're going to get those as well, which which will be paint, sort of covering painting those green will be that will be also a requirement. So that may need you may need to sort of wrap them in some kind of paper or something in advance and then they just sort of paint them and, and that do it that way or they may take the paint I, I don't i don't know i don't know how they were what sort of i don't think they will but so maybe wrapping them in some kind of paper might be the best way to go or or using some green fabric there's camp there's there's lights there's lights that are coming as well so there's two sets of light of lights um so you've got quite quite bright um uh led white lights and then also this is a hdmi splitter so you can actually with your video out you can get as many video feeds to your screens and that's back to that question about the screens the, the more screens in actual fact around these spaces that are off camera the the better it gives it gives you because you a full kind of view of, of self when you would move around and look so you're constantly looking at the uh, looking at the camera but you're not you're not looking at the screen that the camera is embedded into in our kind of laptop um, design, the way these things are designed to look into your laptop screen. So it just gives you that option of moving around and looking at looking at all different screens to mon monitor the image of the, of the kind of the, the self. So that's that's the kit, really. So um, I was also going to show you very briefly today if it's helpful, just useful to look at. We've we've got I've just set up a little. Um, we're having a project website designed. We've got some very, some very nice designers are coming in, and they're just, they're designing a project website where they'll well they'll do all the kind of they'll they'll design the, the case studies and and the video documentation that will show a really nice visual 
um, impression of the residences. Um, and I just want to share quickly just the just a, actually just our Instagram page. I was going to share that with you just to show you that what we've put what I've done so far and some of the images from other groups that we've got. Um, so let me just find out where that page is. Oh, on. on here. Yes. So this is some of the just some of the images that we've got from the current group we're working with. And this is a, a group of two of two who are called who who are called Pigeon Theatre based in Manchester uh, and Jill and Anna and they've been doing some work with us and we've just been playing just with some just, just they've only done two sessions and they're just trying some things out um, they're kind of they're an improvisation group and they do um, they do a lot of stuff working with children as well and different things and um, so just some images we're playing around with them and just doing some little things that they're kind of working with um, just to give you a little bit of a feel for some of the sorts of things and sets we've kind of experimented with um, and just playing with different just sort of layers and, and letting them explore uh, the, the possibilities of what they're, what they're trying to play around with and then um, and that was the, yeah we're just bringing in Steve who's in Singapore there and Steve and, and Felipe in the foreground <laughs> Uh, and then doing some sort of cross phase type things as well. Um, and just initially just playing with objects, just shapes, just to introduce them to the space. They've, they've never used this before, this sort of thing ever. So they were really just just discovering what, what could happen. <coughs> so just to give you some. So that's Pigeon Theatre. And then we did a few things with Phoenix Dance Theatre. <laughs> So they're quite a young, a young group, um, and that's just the sort of little visuals we've done, just to sort of help out with ways that we work. That was done with the VMix setup, and then we also, so yeah, this was quite fun. These were quite nice playing, playing between the two, um, a hole in the ground as I wanted to play with. So we did it also with Skype and and um, uh, Resolum um, uh, VJing software. But most of these are we're going straight out onto on, onto YouTube. Just streaming it on YouTube is the main, the main way we go. But um, and there's just some very early days experiments that they were trying out. And I think you saw the those you saw already were some of the pieces I did also with them um, myself with an earlier piece. But that's also on there. We don't we're featuring that as a as a kind of resident as a case study as well. Um, that was the piece I did from my being awoken in the morning by visitors in lockdown. There we go. You saw some of those before. Um, so that's just our, just a little Instagram page, really, just just gathering some pictures and just trying to sort of d disseminate a little bit of the project. And as I say, the website is being developed, and it um, will include um, a case study on each of the each of the group. And um, so there might be what we'll do is I'll probably bring introduce you also to Sita and Satinda, who are our research consultants and Sita's from the University of Leeds and Satinda's in the at uh, Cambridge University in the um, Department of Music and, and Science. And um, and she have a background in psychology and that sort of thing. And they'll be doing a little some interviews with you as well at some point just to sort of get some um, background information and, and thoughts and ways that you've you've experienced the workshop and, and the residency and that will that will then inform the case study so that gives you a bit of background as to what we're going to try and try and do and then we would just put put together some video recordings from the sessions to try and document the process and things you did and just to sort of give it a, a, a kind of a that sort of research archive resource that we're that we're, that we're after um amazing yeah I'm wondering whether to, sorry, I'm just thinking about no, the no, down pictures. I'm wondering whether to see if um, we've got um, uh, one of our, we've got some kickstarts of their like government funded uh, interns with us. And one of them's really interested in costume design. I'm wondering whether I get her to, with that Cezanne image, it would be lovely if we were putting our actors in like really heavily painted coats. Yes, nice. If I go through the costume store and find some old coats for her and say, just like get it really, yeah. It's going to be lovely and not green, Lucy. Please. Yeah, <laughs> with a pan on green and probably yellow to be safe. Or maybe a big, big long clay pipe would be quite good too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just thinking if we can try and actually match that background in how 
in how they look I think that'd be gorgeous wouldn't it like it's a painting come to life and you can be in the painting mm, mm. yeah absolutely well I, I I can play around a little bit with with the um you know taking out the the characters and just 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 giving that sort of feel for that sort of Cezanne table type um image I mean he painted it he painted it over and over again the same thing <laughs> Really helpful for there. us right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just kept painting the same scene. He's only about six scenes ever he painted, I think. Just painted it over and over again. Um, which is really interesting. But but anyway, well so that's that's for another day. Why <laughs> but we'll certainly I, I will play I can play around with those in the meantime, between now and next week, I can start to play around with that. So I can um but that's a great idea, Lucy. Yes, if there's somebody that wants to play with costumes, and I do think even it, it just just the the notion of the card game is is got has got such a narrative around it as well. There's something to play around with there, and what, what I know, I'm thinking, what are, is there a game? Is there a card game you could be playing where you've got the two actors and then the audience member that are all on VMix, but that they could play with other people in the audience? Like, is there? Yeah, yeah, nice. What games are there with cards that might work so there, through a there's screen? A, there was a Japanese me media artist I met years ago, and um, a couple, and they they did this project very early with with VR head mounted displays mm -hmm. and and a camera. And basically, what all they did was that that one person was seeing the other person's camera. So they actually they were so they were kind of look, look they were looking at, at a view that the other person is having. So then they were having a kind of conversation. They had to do, and they'd had to do things. They, they were featured on a Japanese TV show, and they had to sort of eat sushi together. So the other person was feeding the other person, if you like. They were sort of, and then they had to play cards or something, or do some of the games together. But they were constantly could only see what the other person. They could never see what's in their own hand. They could only see yeah. what's in the, in the other person's hand. So they right. were, they basically just swapped their eyesight around, and they had to sort of, and to exist, to navigate the world. They had they had to then both work together to to achieve a kind of. <laughs> to 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 eat to play and whatever so it's just interesting mm. <laughs> that's really fun really fun yeah. Yeah. yeah very cool but um that's great i'm i'm i realized that we've sort of um you know delays on the kit and things have just slowed up a little bit but hopefully we, we can we can catch up for 10 o'clock on next uh on the 19th then and we'll see just that's just really just a sort of tech test things out and i yeah. what i'll do in the meantime then i will set up the um all the vmix side of things and send, send you send you the um the participant uh invites to it and I, i'll do a number of i'll do what up to give you up to eight or whatever it is invites to it so you can all come in come in on the call and if the two participants um giles and, and graham um uh, have, uh, what, the ones with the cameras on and other, well other people can have the camera on but then we'll see how we get on with bandwidth but um we'll stick stick with giles and graham with their cameras on um the sound at this stage will be pretty basic from my side i won't i won't be working too much with audio um we can think about that and what things i might want to pick your brains on that one because um it's not an area i'm i'm i don't often use sound in, in my own my own practice but um but it's something to really explore Graham and I have both got sets of in-ear monitors, at least, so um, we shouldn't have any, shouldn't have as much problem with kind of mic levels and that kind of thing. Okay, that's great. Yeah, good, good. Perfect. That's, okay. That's the Zoom shortcut for muting my mic. Hang on. I can't work out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> it's great. Really excited about it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Really fun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about your shed idea. This sounds fantastic. I'd like, like to see the shed being... I just built. checked. It's it's a six foot by eight foot shed. So it probably is a bit smaller than the dimensions that we're working okay. to here. But it's not okay. tiny either. No, no. So it might be if we're doing that alongside the two spaces that we're testing this plan in, we can then yeah. kind of go, well, what's the... But as long as you've got... I mean... It should work. I mean, the dimensions I've sent you, let me just quickly just go back to this picture here. One second. I'll just show you one final thing before we go. Um, we've got a few minutes before we finish. Um, let me just quickly show you that picture again. Uh, that one there. I mean, I've done this with um, the camera kind of zoom, sort of the sort of 
there's a kind of mid zoom position on it. You can go closer, of course, but you have to zoom out. And that's that, that's all. So it potentially it could be done with a smaller space. Um, you might be restricted as to how how much you can bring in those um, where you can position your monitors. Yeah, they may be. And as 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 um, Stuart was saying earlier on, that they may be a bit more at a forty five, maybe more angled. Not quite a ninety degree, but maybe a little bit f brought forward. Um, My thoughts on on that as I was intending in in the shed itself to put um, some uh, arms for the monitors so that they can come out and swing out and move. Mm. So we could do that and put them at forty five and have them coming off the back walls. Mm. As it I mean, it, 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 the, the advantage of the 90, of course, is that you can look directly opposite and you, you also have that Suzanne, that Suzanne picture of people, mm. the people playing cards that they are actually looking. But I, I mean, it, it really the, the, the advantage is that you have that sort of direct gaze direction that you're both looking at ex exactly mm -hmm. opposite each other, that you're looking almost the screen, the screen becomes the person. So in that kind of cut where you have the sort of partly the back of somebody's head and then the front of somebody else's head. Of course, the person with the back, with their back from their back of their head, that person needs to be looking at a screen that then takes it into the shot, which is which is not really. <laughs> you can you can flip a mirror, though, in VMIX, can't you? So you can have them both facing the same way at a 45 degree angle and then mirror one of them so that they're actually looking the other way. Mm. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Should be able to. I mean, I haven't played with that, but I, I imagine that would be. <laughs> yep. You'd have have them Absolutely. both doing that, and then you mirror, and so it's like that. If you see what I mean? Okay. I mean, I, in the mix I've done I, before, I, I tend to mirror them both because it just makes it easier for the per, for the for the for the, for the, the participant, mm -hmm. the actor, to actually mm -hmm. interact. I, I find if you're not mirrored at all, it's yeah. um unless you it's a learning curve. But um, also, if we're bringing an audience member in, we we probably. It, it needs to be easy to move, doesn't it? And know that it's going to move the same way. It's just that intuitive sense of, mm. look, of looking when you're looking at the image of yourself. You tend to think yeah. uh, you look at a mirror, you respond to a mirror. You know, we, we kind yeah. of, as soon as you're mirrored and you try and brush your hair yeah. or something, it's like, oh, oh where's my, where yeah. am I going? <laughs> it's all that sort of funny stuff going on. So I so try, do, I do try and mirror them both. Mm. Uh, you can we can it. get around it. We'll get around it's, it. Yeah, okay. you can. You could split it where they see themselves mirrored, but then in the output of VMIX to the audience, it's not mirrored. You flip it back, yeah. Yeah, flip it back, exactly. Yeah, that could be done. Anyway. Anyway, we'll it's all that. about playing and playing. <laughs> Let's get in a room and... Figure it out. I'll figure yeah. It out. I will be picking your brains on this one because I'm not there's something I'm just I'm finding my way with it as well. So so we'll share some knowledge on it and what what we've experienced. But I'm sure together we'll we'll, we'll get something yeah. interesting. Yeah, I think that's the exciting bit, isn't it? It's just a it's a nice exactly. chance to go and play. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Great. Well, um, Amazing. If there's any, you know, we we got the kit. Um, Tom's here as well, and Tom Tom will be be able to sort of say. If there's little things you might need or something else or some some little bit that's not quite working properly, then Tom will be able to sort of just help and problem solve that sort of thing as well. So um, uh, I will include Tom in our email conversations. So so you're you're in contact with Tom as well. Amazing. Thank you. Great. Brilliant. OK, well, in that case, we'll see you on the 19th yeah. at 10 a.m. And I'll we'll send you the invites. Then. I'll send you all the invites to the to the, um, the uh, VMIX meeting and we'll meet yeah. in there. And I'll, I'll have all that up and running. And we'll um, go um, paint a wall green. Go and paint your walls green. <laughs> um, any, there's no issue. Have you worked there before at the school? So there's no. I, I mean, I I will open up all my ports, so there won't be any issues with firewalls and things. I found that when somebody comes in on a, from a corporate network, I have to sort of open up everything in my end, and otherwise they can't they can't get to me or I can't get back to them. I'm not quite sure. No, I don't is. think so. We've we've used VMix from there before, and it's been fine. Yeah, good, good, good. I'm sure it's fine. Right. I've, I think I've so solved that problem now. Like getting beyond a university firewall is probably, once you've done that, you get through anywhere, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and that's probably the highest level of protection anywhere gets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's crazy. Okay, great. Lovely. See you next week then, Paul. See you next week. Really Thank you. Great. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Tom. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye now. Bye -bye now. <laughs>